Hello! Today I have another uh, thrift auction video for you. So the first part of this video will be from before we left for Illinois. We went to an in-person auction and I, I never ended up sharing that um, video. So I'll share that. And then the second part uh, will be all of the stuff that I found um, going to antique malls when we were in Carbondale, Illinois, which I found some really great stuff. I'm excited to show you. We are home and uh, I'm gonna show you what we got. This is a smaller auction today. Okay, here's the first thing. So this was what was left on the table and so I got all of this for $2. And um, when I got home, I looked up how much they sell for and one of these cans on the low end sells for like 15, but um, on the higher end, some of these sell for up to 50. I don't know if they actually sell for that, but that's what people have them listed as. So um, yeah, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put them all together then sell them as a group or sell them individually. Um, but yeah, I think they're pretty cool. I love this one. I think this one is just a really pretty can. Um, if I had a different kitchen, I would probably keep some for display, but um, I don't have shelves that would even these would even function with so all of my decorations is functional decoration not really just something to sit around um, but then this also came with it which I think is really pretty this old amber bottle and then I got these uh, brass bookends and uh, I think I got these for three dollars actually I think I got these for two dollars and then I got this bowl for $2. I just thought it was so pretty. It's handmade with the signature. Okay, and then I got all of these baskets for $2. Again, these were what was left of the baskets. Um, I love this one. I will definitely keep this one for myself for gathering our produce next year since we're pretty much done. And then this little picnic basket. Um, it's in really good shape. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, and I just think that's so cute. I love the way that looks. So $2 for those. And then I got these uh, cheese boxes, which I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but they are huge. Like here's a ruler and I really just wanted this one, but uh, my bid was $4 and no one went higher than that. So I was like, well, for $4, I might as well get both and they're in really really good condition and I think these are really cool to decorate with like on our fireplace I just love the color of them especially since our fireplace is stone wood goes really well on it so four dollars each for both of those okay and then these items were in this basket and I got this for four dollars so I got both of these copper pots this little cow which I think is really cute and then the cowbell and then this is a cheese crock that doesn't have the lid but I still think it's really cute and then this obviously needs cleaning but I think it could be pretty once it's cleaned up and then the plate that matches and then these two as well and then the last thing is this um, sauerkraut or cabbage grater so it doesn't have the little slidey thing that you grate it with but it's very heavy and sturdy and big and I think it's really um, cute for hanging on the wall so this is the rest of the stuff that I found uh, or got from this auction um, so this enamel set I got for six dollars and it was kind of, I didn't plan on spending that much it was kind of like an in the moment purchase of going up higher but um yeah I really like it the cups are so adorable I need to look on Etsy to see how much they'll sell for because I don't plan on keeping these but I think they are beautiful especially this little mixing bowl and I love the gray color of them so I got those and then I also ew, excuse me I also got this um what do you call it cheese bar cheese crock I like that it says United States of America and the seal it's really nice inside so I got this one for two dollars 
Okay, so now for the Illinois finds. Um, you guys know I already got this. I shared this in the last video, but I thought I'd reshow it since it's with all of my stuff. This was $15. And then uh, later on at another place, I found this beautiful marble rolling pin. I love this so much. I actually have been wanting a marble rolling pin um, because I feel like it's like definitely an heirloom item that you'll pass down to your children and it is so heavy. So um, actually there's two items that are a really funny story. I'll show you the other one. Um, so this candlestick holder and this were in the same booth at um, this antique place and this I saw first and it was marked $15, which is actually still a really good price for a candle holder that's this huge, um, that's brass. But I was like, man, um, I would buy it if it was like $12. And so I put it back and like I backed up out of the booth and that's when I saw a sign that said 30% off everything in this booth. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I was so excited about this. Uh, that this ended up being 1050 and same with the rolling pin because it was marked 15 and ended up being 1050 which again is such a good price I bought um, a wood one this and it wasn't antique it was a new wood one uh this summer because I needed one and I think I paid 17 dollars for it so the fact that I got this one is amazing so yeah I got this for 1050 and this one for 1050 and I'll show you the rest of the candlestick holders now I am so pumped about them Okay, here are the other candlestick holders. So I was so excited about these. Um, I think actually all of these came from the same booth. There may have been from two different ones, but they all ranged from two to three dollars. And this one I thought was so unique with the way that this handle is. And it's also made in uh, Taiwan, which is very interesting for brass because it is solid brass. And then this one is like your usual traditional candlestick holder. I see a lot of these styles, but if you can see the size difference between these two, I love how small and adorable this one is. And the hammered brass, I think is so cute. So I'm keeping this one for myself. And then there's also this one, which is, I'm not sure what type of metal. It's made in Japan, um, but it has, I don't know if you can see it, but the little engravings. Um, there's different houses on it and like each one's a different home style. Oh, it is so, so beautiful and it is actually pretty heavy too. So yeah, I have no idea what kind of metal this is. I'm not proficient in these type of things, <laughs> um, but it's so pretty. And then this one I also love, it is copper. So this is a copper pipe that they welded to a copper plate that they hammered and then they just did this little makeshift handle. But I love the primitive look of it. Um, I actually have already started using this. I put it down on our kitchen table. It very much goes with the style of our home. Um, any of these really could go with the style of our home, but I just love copper. And so, uh, I thought this one was so beautiful. So yeah, big time win on the brass, uh, candlestick holders. Um, so pretty pumped about all of those. And then I got these two, um, needles. So this was from a thrift store and actually I only wanted this one, the size five one, because my friend Margo is teaching me how to knit when we were in Illinois. Um, and the pattern that, uh, she found for me to make is this headband and it needed a third needle. So I'm the style of knitting I'm doing is I think called knitting in the round. It's the needles that have the plastic around it. So I have that needle, but then you need another needle to like stick in I don't know. I know nothing about knitting, but I am doing it and I'm having so much fun with it. Um, and so I wanted another one and I wasn't looking for these. I just saw this and it was um, number five and that's what my other ones are. So I was like, oh, for a dollar, I might as well get it. So then the lady that was ringing me out asked me what I was knitting. So I was just telling her that I was learning and she said she makes dish towels, but she uses size eight. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I was like, what kind of needles do you use? And she said, oh, I use these ones. And so um, I was like, oh, maybe I'll go back over and look for a size eight. So she goes over there with me, finds it and then hands it to me and says, Merry Christmas and tells me that these are her needles that she's selling. So uh, yeah, I ended up getting both of these for a dollar and thought that was so nice. So really excited about adding this. I love the idea also of like um, just having a lot of um, 
crafted stuff on hand so that when um should the lord bless us with daughters i have plenty of resources them for them to use and play with um so yeah i love all the ancient ways of artistry and crafts and stuff so very excited about that okay and then i got this box of clothes pins the shoe box um this was in that same 30 percent off booth so it was marked 15 but i ended up getting it for 10.50 which is awesome. I love this old style of clothespins. Um, this is my favorite kind to use on the line. I find that they last so much longer, especially the new like clip ones that you get. They are made horribly. And so uh, when I saw these, I was like, I have to get them. So super pumped about these. You can never have too many clothespins. And then the um, lady that was in line next to me as I was ringing up, she was like, oh, could make little people for your children and I thought that was a really cute idea too so lots of functions with that and you cannot beat ten dollars for an entire box of these vintage ones um I looked on Etsy and actually I think it's like uh you can buy um I think it was like 10 of these for nine dollars so that is everything that I found from um the auction and the antique malls and it was so much fun. Hopefully one of these days I will um, get around to just recording some of the ways that I style the things that I find because I've seen people comment that before they want to see those things. So hopefully I can do that um, here soon. <laughs> like I said, we've been on the road a lot, so it's uh, hard to record stuff at home when we're not home. But um, I bless you all and I hope that you have a wonderful day. And especially as we go into December, you're just enjoying every moment that you have at home. God bless.